Right. So let's get on with this then. This is the January mission inspiration. And the first step is to glue down squares or rectangles of card or paper. This is a very thin card. And I'm using my punch just for quickness. Which is square, so I've done it before there. Um, I've already put some paper down just to cover up what was underneath, just to see. Um, I didn't want to gesso because we do need to gesso in the next step, so I didn't think there was much point in putting gesso down. I thought maybe collage would be better. So my collage is up text there. Um, and we're just not going to worry about where these squares are going to go. Just going to put them down. Put the gel medium just because it's a little bit heavier than a paper or anything like that. So, just want them to stay. So, I'm going to overlap them a little bit. Um, I'm not going to wait for those to dry. Um, next step, add white or tinted gesso. Now, I don't think I've ever used a tinted gesso, so I thought let's give that a go. And one of the colours on the inspiration card is olive, and this is the closest colour I've got to olive, so I'm going to use that. You don't have to use the uh, suggested colours, but it was one I was thinking about using it anyway. It's just a little bit of a mess. Just use some white wrapping in there. Yet again, I forgot to put my art card on. As always. Uh, would be better for light wise if I was using some medium, but can't work. I can't. <laughs> Just a little dot of colour there. Mix that up. This is what's good about doing something like this. It gets you to try things you've not done before. Like it into gesso. I think this is way too much for the page, but we can use it somewhere else. Oh, it's a really nice colour. That card is a little bit shiny, so it's uh, not absorbing the paint as well as the paper, but that's okay. 
It is colouring it, so. It's fine. Just adds a little bit of contrast. Yes, again, I am getting ready for work. Probably shouldn't be doing this in my work uniform. I have my apron right there. I'm not wearing it. I just get carried away. I just want to get started. <laughs> Anyone else like that? There we go. Very nice. <laughs> right. And now uh, let's just grab this book where I've written down the prompt and next page. We don't waste any of that lovely paint. It's actually a really nice colour. Again, I don't think I'm going to wait for it to dry. The next step is to make marks with a brush or a comb, which I don't have. I do have a brush, but I use it for my hair. <laughs> but I do have a broken spot, so we'll use that. And I forgot to get out the clean one. I'm going to use this Quidacridone Nicolito Gold because I think it will match my focal image quite nicely. I may also add some orange in. Not exactly sure how this is going to work. So. Hmm. This is very interesting. That looks like bloody claw marks. Um, yeah. Okay, wow. Well. We've done that step. Let's add some orange. As I said. Just 
And up. Not just about it makes them really make them claim their gold. That looks better. I'm going to have some more of that now. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Here we go. And now I am going to have to let this dry because the next bit is to add handwritten journaling. So I'm going to let this dry and then we'll do some journaling on the top. So I've dried that off a little bit with the heat gun. Um, so I've got eight lines to leave for work so I can carry on. Um, I've scribbled on so journaling in I'll show you the pen I use. Let's find it again. There we go. This Uniball Micro um it's supposed to be waterproof. So I'll just use that and I've really scribbled and let my hand go so you can't really read what's there. Now the next step is to draw through a stencil in white or black and I'm going to ignore that <laughs> and I'm going to use this brown because I think it will tie in with my image and I'm going to go through this leafy stencil And do a little bit of this. I'm not sure that you'll be able to tell the leaves because it's going to be an outline, but. Just I don't interest in the background, so it's okay. It is very windy outside, so I don't know if you hear the wind chime every now and then. Sunny, but very windy. I like that for a couple of days now. That's why it gets very frosty overnight and cold. Wait till spring gets here. There we go. So that's that. Add a bit more. Come in a little bit deeper down here. Something quite abstract, as I say, you can't really tell it for leaves, but it doesn't matter. The 
again, this is something I don't normally do, draw through a stencil, usually get paint and stuff and slap it through. <laughs> The nice thing about using the brush end of this marker is it's sort of flexing around the stencil and doing most of the work for me, which is really nice. Uh, I can almost leopard printy, <laughs> which is fine. That also goes with my focal image. I like even can always see what it is. <laughs> Well, the next step is to add purple image, so we will do that. Enough of that. I like that. I did some nice interest in the background. Uh, these are watercolour pens, so if I do get them wet, they will bleed. But I can live with that. Now, here is my focal image. It's the front of a muse letter from the Cat's Protection, and I'm going to fussy cut this cat. Um, I'm going to cut straight across here and then just cut around the cat and the leaf. And then we'll pop that down. So I'm going to go away and do that so you don't have to watch. Okay, so that took a few seconds and she's all cut out. And we're going to stick her on. Not with Jessa. Let's try and jump again. I'll do. She's not as big as I remember her being, so she doesn't cover up quite as much of the page as I thought she would, but that's fine. She all looks great there. Oh, this is just a beautiful picture. The way it's been taken is lovely. I'm going to feel quite appreciated from a cat person point of view. The photography is stunning, so let's just get some on top. down Now, I think 
read a book on music Hmm. Well, I don't have any music stuff. Oh, sorry about that. I had to find a different thing to use. Let's have this my Oh, yes. Okay, so I've got some more book text. And um, I have this piece of paper. It's got uh, notes on it. Oh, it's not got notes on it. Sorry, it's got it's like a blank music sheet, sheet. So we'll just use a little bit of this. Because it's not very interesting without the notes on. if I wanted to um, say that my first step was this step but I'm not going to because I put the text in the background so you can mix it up a bit but I don't mind really like adding text and stuff I wish I had some musical piece of it. I don't. <laughs> uh, this is a bit fun. Oh, yeah. Let's have a little bit of that. Up there. Let's have it there to cover that. design Those excess bits. 
and I think I want to separate it in there. So. grab um oh, yes I'm just deciding then which colour black or the brown I'm gonna go for the black and I'm gonna outline these letters to make them stand out nice The rounded corners is different. A lot of sketchbooks and things will have corners, you know, one corner. <laughs> this clip was wet, I should wait till it's dry. Got the nail away. Now. You see that background green really matches her eyes, which is why I originally wanted to use that colour. And I was going to change my mind, but no, perfect. And fold that bit over. Uh, just trying to decide if I need to edge it or anything. Um. No. No. I think that's that's done now. That was a really quick journal piece. Um really helped having the prompts and also having figured out which image I wanted to first. That probably would have taken me a while if I didn't if she didn't jump out at me. <laughs> and also having these stickers, the uh, seven dots studio stickers. That just made it so easy to just quote like it just jumped out at me. Just seems to fit. Uh, there are some inspirational words to use if you wish. They were Genesis Renew, Resolve, Wish, or Memories. And the colours that you could have used aqua, olive, and blush. So you don't have to use those colours, they're just there. So let's go through the checklist. Glue, square, rectangle pieces of card or paper. We did that. Add white or tinted gesso. Tinted the gesso. Make marks with a brush or comb. We sort of did that. Uh, add black blocks of hand handwritten journaling. Done that. Draw through a stencil in black or white. Sort of did that. Add the focal image. Add shredded book or music text. Did that. And add typography. The typography quote for phrase. All done. Lovely. Love it. Love it. Love it. So I'm going to go and take some nice photos of that to show you at the end of the video because I know that this camera is rubbish. Um, and that's that. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you join in with the mission inspiration. Um, I have truly been inspired <laughs> and I love this page. Great first page. 
Can't wait till next month. Alright then, I'm going to go now. So, thank you and see you. Bye.